we when a project then has been developed there is an export function that allows me to export this scenario to what is known as the Greenfoot Gallery. I have here a website open that has the Greenfoot Gallery site and anyone can publish their scenarios straight onto this website. This is of course um, exciting for students in two different ways. One is they can share their own work with friends and, and other people. Um, and secondly, they can get a lot of inspiration by looking at what other people have done. Let us just quickly look at what that looks like. Let's say we want to take our um, original here, first project, and put that on to the gallery site. So we just choose export from within Greenfoot and here we can make an icon by moving and enlarging this. So let's say we want this as an icon. We, we call that um, Grid World and a one-line description is uh, an AP demo. Um, this is the Grid World case study. Um, I can choose whether or not I want to publish the source code with it. I can attach some tags with it. I can have my own tags. I need an account on the gallery, which I have. So if you want to do that yourself, create an account on the gallery side first. Once you have that, you identify here you, your account and export the scenario. Now what this does, it, it bundles this whole scenario up as a JAR file and sends it um, to the Greenfield Gallery website. So if we go there now to our website and reload this page, then we should see that live on the internet is now our good world here. If we look at the recently added um, scenarios. Here is now our grid world that I have just published. If I click on this now, I go to the page and I get here running live in the web page um, our um, grid world case study. And I can run this here directly from within a web page. In the web page, of course, it's not editable anymore, but it is executable. So when students have created an interesting scenario, they can share it with their friends. Other friends here can leave their leave comments when they are logged into the site and so on. Okay, I'll end here. This was just a very quick overview. Um, drawbacks are that there are some minor differences. There are some differences in the testable code base. So we had to make um, some small changes in the code base. We tried to maintain um, as much of the original code as we could and that has succeeded in most cases with just some minor differences. But these differences, when it comes to the test, you may have to be aware of, but the advantage is that you get a much more powerful environment to deal with a grid world case study and you get a very strong, very nice path forward into other kinds of games and applications. Okay, that was it for today. Thanks for listening um, and this is the end for today. Bye-bye.